make sure that the streaming is going on. Uh, I will tell you when I see it. Okay. Also, you're going to be hearing me sniff a lot. That's cause fine. Because it's, it's October. Uh, jump dash. Cool. And let's quick do this. Everything else? Nice. I see it. It's up. Okay, good. Uh, option mode. Uh, shoot, jump dash. Cool. Everything's good. Um, let me know if let me know so, if there's a if there's a zoo or not. Yeah, that. hopefully uh, there's a zoo. Uh, hopefully, someone let, other than you will know what's going on. Let me know how audio sounds. I feel like playing through Mega Man X. It's something I do probably every like I'd I'd say like three months. And like rather really? Than like probably. I mean, I have the cart downstairs, and someday I sometimes I just sit down and play it. It's right there. It takes me an hour and a half. Oh yeah, it's short games. Yeah, short yeah. games. It's something. Yeah, wait. So I, I I see logical. Tell us how the thing sounds, logical man. But yeah, like so. Rather than uh. Okay, audio is okay. Okay. I, see, I, I see a rock man and oh, some cars. That's good. You should see a lot of cars. You should I'm see some Gordo. like floating things with spikes. One thing. I've kind of played this game. I never finished it, though. I was... My Mega Man was Mega Man 3, but uh, uh, I remember lots of things having faces in this game. Many things have faces, yes. Face. But yeah, this is... This is, uh... Just something I play through every once in a while, and I figured I'd throw it on the stream rather than... I did, yeah, I just have something to do. It's either that or me being unsure about wizard poker. I am just not feeling it today. I don't know why. Yeah. But it's hesitation, I guess. Because I have exactly one draft left. Ah. If I lose, I get no more without giving money. Uh, the thing about this B thing, you can get crushed by it. Don't get crushed by it. I mean, I love crushing. I love it, it. It, it bounces when it, when it hits the ground there. <laughs> Yeah. And if you're under it. Oh, and this is where the game, like, teaches you to figure out wall jumping and stuff. Yeah, because you cannot get out of this pit. Yeah, go. It. Yeah, right there. It's... Bees. Like, you thought this was a boss. No! Bees! Ah. Gnome is a bit loud. Um... I'm a bit... I know how to fix that. It's called... Is it percussive maintenance on your headset? No, it's because I when I plugged my mic back in, it like set its volume to a hundred, and it should uh, be at like fifty. Okay. It should be quieter now. I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. More bees. This is like a. Why are there so many bees in this city? I don't know. I I really don't know what. Like all these robots were totally designed for. Well, it is like Dr. Wily, who is like, he's a guy who invented the robot tree. Oh, nuts. I'll bring the car over. Uh, car. There's a trick you can do with the car to speed up the ship up ahead. Uh, is it like, um, do the cars not damage you after you shoot the bits off? Uh, no, they damage you if you, they ram into you, but you have to kill, like, a certain number of cars to get past this bit. Ah. Uh, and if you, like, drag a car with you. Yeah, oh, yeah, then it reduces the number. Yeah, something, something like that. I don't... I'm no expert on, like, the tricks of this game, so... You, you just play it every I just months. play it. I don't believe you. Well, you no, 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 I mean, like, the speedrunning protest strats. Ah, that's a test. Oh man, the, the purple man. You cannot defeat the purple man. You can, like, lock him in a loop like this. Yeah, he is. He is undefeated. Stupid. Yeah, you just, just, I don't care about your cluster again. I got, like, I'm gonna fucking punch ya. Well, I mean, he's not gonna punch me if I keep doing this. True. But he, he he doesn't care. He's gonna like just keep punching. So you cannot damage me. 
Like Airman. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be damaged. Ah, Airman. You know what it's like to only have the power to push people away? <laughs> Dr. Wily was kind of a jerk when you designed that one. <sighs> yeah. He took, like, a table fan and decided to yes. <laughs> Like, who this will terrify people. It's my fan! Well, it can make this tornadoes. Is... That's pretty terrifying. It's my best invention since the robot tree! Oh, uh, yes, Dr. Wiwi. Yeah, Dr. Wiwi. Uh, let me get zero. Yeah, I'm pretty cool with my mullet. <laughs> like, you could... If he ever took off his helmet, you'd see he's got, like, the Joe Dirt hair. Um, trying to... Yeah, I'm not doing in normal order. As you got the boss order down? Uh, yeah. I don't know the boss order of any game that doesn't have Metal Blade in it. Well, in that one, it's Metal Blade, and then you just use Metal Blade a lot. Yeah, that's, that's that's why it's easy. In, in <laughs> this just... one, all of the boss weapon, like the weapons that bosses are weak to, many of them will have secondary effects against the boss, ah. like rather than just dealing additional damage. Ah, they they do the thing to the to the thing. Yeah, they do the thing. So here's the robot trees. The, here's the, the robot, robot lumber... bunnies. And the robot lumberjacks to cut the. I love the the robot lumberjacks are the best. It's like a Sisyphean effort to... <laughs> Who installed them? Like, to continually chop down this tree that will continue growing. Somebody like, somebody took effort to install... Like, they, it also took effort to install robot caps on top of the robot trees. Mm -hmm. Like, this is no normal trees to make them robot trees. They get the robot caps. Robot keys. Yeah, because in the future there won't be normal bats. Yeah, they they went extinct because of um. Yeah. Because of the the robot bats. Yeah, because of the robots. There's too many robots. Oh boy. I mean, get the. Sit here and he, stuff for a while. He, these gordos are fake gordos. You can you can destroy them. They're a lot more like uh. Bale. Oh yeah, I like Bale. Uh, or, uh... The yeah, I, I, I knew exactly what you were talking about. Or like the little, uh, skull things in Symphony of the Night that just circle around platforms. Yep. I think those were in Circle of the Moon, too? I don't know. Symphony is another game I should play again to actually understand. I don't remember anything except the shield rod. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Hmm. That's a fun one. I like that game. It is a, it is a, it's a fun game. I will not tell you which game to play. Oh, this the only thing I will say is I will know more things to say about <laughs> Sympathy of the Night than I will this game. That's fair. This, this here, this is the reason you do Chill Penguin first. Oh. You get the shiny shoes. The shiny shoes give you the dash. It's gotta be the shoes. And then you just never stop dashing. Basically. <laughs> The worst thing about Arya and Dawn is they put the Black Panther way the fuck at the end. Especially in Dawn. That's like the last gray soul you get. Yeah, in, in, in Arya, it's like after you beat Graham, it's the prize. Yeah, it's the prize. And at that point, you have what? Julius, and that's it? And, and I think oh. it's chaos. I think you. Wait, is it? Honestly, it I think after. at that point, you literally just go, like. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think, is it after Graham or is it after Julius? I think it's after Graham, because it's in the- I think it's in the room behind Graham. Oh man, you've got the, uh, Magitek armor. There we go. Ah! You, you can jump on up here. One of these igloos things has a- oh, has a B in it or something. Has a power-up. Bees. Bees? Which we can't do. Why are there bees? bees in, why are there bees in the tundra? How about the snowmen? The snowball guys. I love the little snowball. We're about snowballs. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, they're, they're the they're the charging chucks with the baseballs. Who are motherfuckers? I hate those guys. 
like as rom hacky as rom hacks are. That is the worst part about rom hacks is fucking baseball charging Chuck. Baseball charging Chuck. Charging yeah. Chuck is a guy. He's a because he was he was like in one level in in Super Mario World. No baseball, baseball charging Chuck. Yeah, it's like one or two worlds, and it's probably like the ones that are named Groovy. Yeah, because in that game. Like every Mario game, they would have a gimmick, and it would last one or two levels, and then they would throw it away and have a new gimmick. And ROM hacks just take all the worst gimmicks and put them in every level. Ah, the penguin. Yep. So if you weren't doing him first, what would you use against him? Uh, Is there his... a flame man? Yeah, the, the, the flame man. That's what I was thinking. I forget his name, but I flame assume Flame Mammoth. It's... He is large. Flame... Ah, the mammoth. Now I remember. Thank you, Kavanaugh, giving us the exact level <laughs> baseball charger Chuck was in. 2-1. That'd be like, uh... That's a Yoshi donut? level. Like Donut Plains? One of the Donut levels. The World 2 is Donuts. Anyway, bosses have a lot of health. They do. It's like, uh... He's, he's chuffed, that's why he's got the health, because he's like a big old fat penguin man. <laughs> <laughs> that he is. Wait. Sports. Ah, maybe there is something worse than baseballs. Well, you don't like the football charging, Chuck? The footballs. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You can never tell which way a football is going to bounce. Ah, just like real life. Also, I watched like a fake lecture by John Hodgman last night, and he gave the explanation as why football is called football. It's because the footballs look like a gouty foot. Can you imagine a foot? It's got, it's full of gout, and that's the football. The foosball. Shotgun ice. Um, yeah. Spark man. You can, you can check there's stage, there's map. Ooh. Nobody ever checks the map or anything like that, but it's there. And then there's the specs. What does the map actually tell you? It tells you where everybody's located on, like, a very small map of something. So it doesn't actually tell you anything. Well, like, you see that Penguin is located in the mountain. Like, yeah, but that, that is... Does it mean anything, like, when Wily's Castle happens? No. Is that, is that like, was a... Th maybe a thing in, like, uh... Anyway. Yeah, let's, let's kill that monkey man. Yeah, we're gonna go get Spark Mantrel. He has the dash punch and the electric spark. He's also 10 foot 646. Man, that's a big monkey man. <laughs> He's big. I love mandrels. They are fucking terrifying. Um, sadly, with this guy's weapon, he's much less terrifying. <laughs> with, with with the weapon for him. Ah, uh, with the with the chill penguin. Yep. So the the, the chill penguin weapon. Uh, does it does it make his African heat to uh, cold tolerance make him all shivery? It, it just fires like a little burst like this. These guys don't seem to care much about your shotgun. No. Alright. You have yet to learn the secret of the wizard shotgun. Mm. Mm, no, I, I did pick up a, a thing, though, with using a soul. Ah, what, what was that? A uh, spell. Ah! It was uh, Pursuers, yes. was it not? That is a... Uh, that is for another is, time. That is for another time. I can not talk about that game I won't shut up about <laughs> during this game. I, yeah! I, I, uh, I, I, I've grown to be the same way. Like, I, my roommate got back in about four, and I was like, I was playing Dark Souls, and I'm like, yeah! And just kind of played the first like 30 minutes and he's like this is pretty cool it's really great i love it it's great it's like anyway. it's like a new super metroid <laughs> man you almost fell in that pit i did luckily 
Uh, you can grab onto walls. It's very you, useful. You can grab onto walls. Uh, if only that happened in the old Mega Man. So this boss is kind of a jerk. I don't much care for him. The monkey man. No, this is a mini boss. Oh, the mini boss. Yeah, the uh, what is that Pokemon? The one you and Orange Sickle were talking about. The Ooze Man. I forget all of the black and white Pokemon names. She's like that though. Oh, man, that that mashing noise is great. You're gonna. That, that's something I, I I've got down is the mashing. Oh yeah, it's, it makes your vester better. Ditto? Is it ditto? Were you talking about ditto? No! Ah, uh, it's psychic type. It's the not gothic Lolita one. Um. Soul. Soliosis? Soliosis? I think that's it. Something like that? Something. LTS. Yeah, I'm not going to forget Ditto's name. Yeah, Ditto. <laughs> Reuniclus is the big one, yeah. Yeah, Renu. Re 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 I. I don't I know how to pronounce it. I just say words. I. I forget all the time. No apologies. First, no regrets. In the first 300 Pokemon, <laughs> their names and cries are ingrained in my memory. But past that, that's asking too much. Oh, this or is the first introduction to a turtle. Uh, I love turtles. They're great. Right. So there's this heart up here. You do... I'm fairly certain you need the dash to get it. Or, uh... You won't be able to, like, uh, get to the... Like, you have horizontal coverage with right, the dash. Right, like, like, this is your your normal jump off a wall. It looks like this. Like yeah. Be behind, but then nor big is very big. Yeah. You have, like, horizontal coverage. Yep. You can also... There's a boomerang weapon that could get it, too. Ah, uh, the boomerang. There is a... If there's a Pokemon 666, is there a Pokemon 669? Yes. There's about up to... Se there's about up to 700 points. I have to learn my new third favorite Pokemon, then. There's also... 696, or whatever combination you'd like. Yeah! Butterflies are cool. Oh, I like so these these guys, these they're they're gone now, but the uh the, the, it's a fish. The little fish guys, oh. they look random, they're not. They always come out at the same spot. Ah. It reminds me of a enemy from Arya. That random zip of light that would just ah, happen yep, in yep, yep. all that. Yeah, just freeze time He's, for. I I forget what that soul even does. <laughs> So, you, you'll say hello to this boss, and then he will not do anything anymore. He'll he get shut down. Which is sad, because I love mandrels. Like, really sad. And he gets... He, he gets the ice. He doesn't invoke the terror that a mandrel should. Like, <laughs> I, when I see this man, he doesn't seem like he's going to, like, pin you down and eat your face. No, he, he he he's gonna jump at you and punch you in the face. He's also going to shoot you with electricity because that is. I, I'm pretty sure he isn't. I'm pretty sure he just stood in place and then died. No, no, he's not doing anything. But he's gonna give me his weapon. And that's cool. I get the get the monkey the monkey beam. What it's gotta be. I'll, I'll mess around with the uh, with like Buster dueling them on the second run through on, on the boss refights. Ah, uh, oh yeah, the boss fights, the refights, the traditional boss rush. Yep. However, it's different in this game. The boss refights aren't like a room with eight teleporters. Yeah, that. Mm. We're gonna go fight the armored armadillo. Yeah. Get his cloak. Quality aura. Love the armadillo cloak. That's a good cloak, man. It's a great cloak. There are a few that are as good. Well, Moldervine also, oh, yeah, Moldervine. I'm also fine, fond of like, uh, what is it called? Whisper Silk Cloak? The uh, Shroud Unblockable? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, welcome to the minecart level. 
Oh man, mine carts. I'm gonna show off a cool guy here. Is there, also, is there sewers in this game too? Uh, yeah, there... go ahead. Uh, there's no shore you can in this game. It's the Hadoken in this one. And the Hadoken. So very, very different. There's a bat. There's a bat right here. That's a real bat. Yeah. Bat. Wait, where's the bat? You'll see him. He's a real bat. You oh no! Him. The bat! So there's all the robot bats, and then there's the real bat. The real bat, I want to say, has a 50% chance of just dropping an extra life. Oh, so he's like, you come back to this level when you need lives. Yeah, like he just can drop it. He's a, he is from Mega Man 2. Yeah. He's the bat, that, Wait, like Woodman that, stage. That other bat just like drop a, a life? Yes. He seemed to. <laughs> yes, that, that, that is not. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that was just... I was just, that was just, you know, right, regular fraud. Yeah, that's normal fraud. Uh, well, that's all right, logical. Uh, the Shoryuken is actually in Mega Man X2, so it's not like it's not in one of them. So it's yeah, it's totally like a, it's what Zero does, right? He gets the Shoryuken. I want to say that's what happens. But yeah, um, so I'm going to go down this hole, and there's going to be a guy chasing me. But I'm ah. going to ignore letting him chase me and just kill him. Oh. Power of wall slides. Yeah. Should be able to. He's the crushing bot. I love him. He's got, like, the flailing arms. Mm hmm. Also, I'm ashamed to say I forgot the name of the little helmet guys. The Met I, lo I, lo I love them. They're great. They're like the biggest dicks. They will sit there under their invincible hat <laughs> until the end of time. I love the hats. I need to go get the prize that's behind this guy, I think. Mm. If I go all the way to the left, there's a prize. There's it's like a, uh, potential. yeah. Hmm? The E-Tank. Mm. Yeah, those are like, uh, they're not like... I, they're like, uh, refills. I, they are also in... Like, I played Mega Man 3, they have E-Tanks. Right. Well, these aren't consumable, these are rechargeable ones. Oh. So they are slightly different. Like, when I'm at full health, if I pick up a health pickup, it will, like, go oh. into the E-Tank. So it's than... like a uh, Thermos. Yeah. Robot Thermos. So you, whenever I pick up health now, when I'm at full, you'll hear a little, like, very small, like, beep. Well, I won't, but I will accept that the beep is there. And then there's a, a higher-pitched beep when it, it fills up a tank. Uh, you can accept that that one is there, too. Or not. I Your I will choice. accept the beeps. Your choice. Let's see. Oh my god, this man. Come on. You, you could wear the, the med hats if it was, uh... Like a Kirby crossover game if this franchise still existed. That would be cool. Like, Kirby just shows up into Met, has an they invincible have, Met hat. And they, like, go to, like, a coffee shop and, like, shoot the shit over their jobs. <laughs> I think, yeah, I steal powers for a living, too. Alright, uh, another kind of silly trick coming up here. This is the second one of those, like, crusher guys. Rather than killing him from behind, I'm going to outrace him from ahead. Oh, man. Goodbye. Crusher bots. That is definitely a robot I would des I would design. The, <laughs> the crusher robot? Yeah. Here he comes. It's almost the robot I designed. I'm glad to say, the only robot I've ever designed was a claw robot. It had a claw. It was extremely dumb. <laughs> Just a claw robot? Yeah, it, like, there was a competition in high school. We got to design a robot to fulfill a specific task. And I was there a day late, so I wasn't there to tell everyone how stupid the design they picked was. <laughs> You just had to agree. It would, they'd already drawn it, and everybody loved it so much, I couldn't convince them. And I love the design. I still have it, because I stole it. But, uh... <laughs> but... 
Like we had, it had to like swap out battery packs on the Hubble spaceship. So they had like a fake version of it that you use to test like your robot. And you just had to like grab onto these little pegs and pull them. So like the simplest thing you could have was like a rake that would just hook onto the peg and pull it out. Wow. But no, we had to, we had to design the claw with three metallic fingers that would grasp the peg. And it was entirely stupid, and I and I hated it, even though I loved it. So I stole it after the competition. <laughs> we came in dead last. Oh, oh no, we, we didn't come in. We didn't come in dead last. We came in dead last of all robots that worked. The one guy, the one team who did worse than us, had a robot robot that did not work. Just didn't a non-functional robot. Yeah, we were better than those guys. We also, they also just, the other people decided on the worst name you could name such a robot, and the saddest part was like three other people came up with the same name. Oh you know, no! It was the Hubble Bubble. <laughs> ah. Anyway, this 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 armadillo is dead. Yeah, he's dead. His I, I know gimmick. He's dead. He has he has like a a very hard shield that if you don't hit him with the electric spark will block almost all of your shots. Does he have lifelink and trample? Um, as long as he has the shield, maybe. maybe. But I got rid of the cloak. I destroyed his cloak immediately on entering the room. Ah, you must be like, uh... Ah, the police. Anyway, we get his little rolling ball thing. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Ball. Ball's cool. I always forget where this goes next in the order. Octopus? I might. No, no, no. Octopus is a different thing. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm working backwards mentally. I always forget this part. Because Storm Eagle beats the Flame Mammoth. Storm Eagle gets beat by Chameleon. Chameleon gets beat by. Yeah, let's just do the underwater thing. Ah. The underwater level. Yeah, so. Jumping will be different. Is an octopus. Oh, he's he weighs he only weighs three hundred and eighty pounds. Yeah, he's half a mandrel. <laughs> also half an octopus. He only has four legs. <laughs> only half. Yeah, he's he's like half a robot. He's half useful. <laughs> Also, like, uh, the water skaters and the more tur and turtles. Mm -hmm. Do like turtles. Don't like water skaters. Turtles are really big and take a lot of shots. There's also seahorses, but you don't see them much. I'm glad to see that turtles are like they are in real life. Large and take many shots. <laughs> Like these seahorses, who just like sort of dick you with their popping out of the ground, like, uh, shit, what is he eating? I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of like a, one of those, like a Metroid thing. Yeah, those guys that you just shoot for orbs. Yeah, their entire, like, purpose is orbs. Their, ent their entire purpose is to give you food. What Samus eats, she eats orbs. Ah, and speaking of hmm, that Super Metroid thing, Yucky's like snake things. Yep. Ah, so these these fish are basically useless. They will Man. attempt to suck you up, and then you'll be sucked up by them, and then you just shoot a bunch, and they explode while you're inside. They don't even do damage, do they? I think if you, like, stay inside for a while... Yeah. Do they damage you if you, if they touch you? Is that like normal Mega Man yeah. stuff? Yeah. They follow normal Mega Man rules, but like if I stay inside this fish for a while, like they will start eating my health. Oh, it's no. just that nobody ever has a reason to stay inside of a fish. 
There's like stealth. Okay. And now we get the, the cool, you know, cool, let's fight that same mini boss except for make the arena more annoying. How does that sound? It's got spikes. Everybody loves Mega Man spikes, right? Dying instantly. I don't know if they kill you instantly in oh, this yeah. game. Oh, Assuming yeah. you do. I remember this game also being kind of a dick. <laughs> Like it's a, it's a Mega Man game, so yeah. That if the spikes didn't kill you, that would be a travesty. So what's in these uh class canisters? The ones the at the juice? bottom, or the ones in the background? The ones like in the background with the with the red juice in them. Oh, I, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna guess yeah. oil. Is it actually juice? Is this like? Dr. Wiley's weird ass winery. <laughs> it's, it's a, it has a very uh, unique. Sadly, Dr. Wiley is not uh, does not appear in this game. Oh, hi. Even if he doesn't appear in this game, he's it's his winery. It, it might be his underground winery, though. Yeah. Also, even if he's not in the game, he's the antagonist. This is a Mega Man game. Oh, yeah, I, don't, basically. I don't. I don't pay attention to like plot in these games. Yeah, but it's just Doctor Wily. Yeah, Doctor Wily is the bad guy. He's got like the eyebrows and like the uh, Christopher Lloyd hair. Yeah. Anyway, there's a going down here uh, after shooting that ship and breaking down the floor. There's a mini boss again. Ah. However, this is uh, not a very smart mini boss. If I can just get in the right spot for him. Yeah, there we go. Ah, it's this guy. Yeah. He is very non threatening. I'm going to guess you could shoot his tail because it is also flash. Oh, you figured it out too. Oh, and I've fallen in spikes because there are spikes on half of the ground. Woohoo! Choose Die. wisely! Where do you think the spikes are? <laughs> ah! Spikes. I love spikes. Dr. I, I no. can't hate. As much as I hate dying instantly, I can't bring myself to hate spikes. I'm, I'm very good at touching spikes. I'm also very good at having enough lives to not really care, so... Yeah, you, you did, like, get free lives from bats. And can do so more, should you please. Wait. I tried to get behind him. He, he's, he, he, he knows he that technology. He's got the pokey tail. Yeah. He can't... Um, but, uh, no, Abyss Hunted, those are two different people. Yeah. He is a person from Mega Man 4. And Did, we have to rebeat does the he, thing. Does he do, like, a dance? Dr. Kosick? Yeah. Uh, he's very obviously Russian. Um, I don't... He has a oh. daughter named Palinka. Oh, so they just picked Russian words. Because oh, absolutely. How very Cold War of them. Soda Papinski. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really hope I don't have to like refight the mini boss, but I'm fairly certain I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up using the sub tank I've got. Ooh, the tank. Drink yep. deep. I got the tank, so I might as well use it. They are rechargeable, after all. So I've been playing the Ace Attorney games, because I'm going to be sad that I'm going to be able to play the new one. And I played through Apollo Justice, and the juice from Dark Cloud 2 appeared in it. Oh, the, 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 the grape juice? Yeah, the grape juice. Like, the oldie Palma Costa potion. <laughs> <laughs> it was there. Anyway, this boss is a lot more annoying if you don't stay up on its back. But you don't jump you into spikes as much, so it's, it's like an upside. You have to get up on the uh, Leviathan's back. Yeah. 
Really, what you should do is... There's a life in the spikes. You should cast, uh, uh Boil, so you no longer have islands, and he can no longer damage you. Mm hmm. That'd be a good plan. Yep, there's just a little extra life sitting in the spikes. What's well, in the spikes? You want it? You get, like... Yeah, you would... What it... If you were at full health, would it fill up your... Would that health orb by it fill up your, uh, tank? Uh, no, th those... Those hearts? Or that oh, I... No, I mean, the one... There was also an orb by the, uh... Oh. I didn't see if it was a power orb or if it was a health it, orb it was a by the... Orb. Orb. Oh, then... Then you, you could fill up your... Power... Oh. Your life. Yeah, where's the... Where's the second copy of this mini-boss? We have to fight him again! Because he was, uh. he was so interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I'll fight him once more. Also, uh, Nick, if you want me to uh, have one and it's so affordable, how about uh, you get me one then, <laughs> if it's so affordable? <laughs> I've actually made enough money to buy one, but <clears throat> I picked Magfest. I don't want Magfest is sweet. S somebody freaking bought Chandra Nullar before... <laughs> Any of my other Buster cards I have up. I didn't even think anybody played that card anymore. I just listed I it for shits. I don't know what that would even be in. Uh, yeah, fourth mini boss, maybe fifth if uh, if you count the boat. I really hope that this guy is weak to the the weapon I bring into the fight because it would be really lame if he wasn't. Ooh. He just oh, he is him. okay. Good. I, I was not. Is. However, the fight really is hard. I'm bad at it. Ah, he's he got the missiles. He has an invincibility tornado. He can make fish, and he can shoot missiles. If you bring in uh, the cutter, if you bring in there's there's a cutting weapon. If you bring that in, you can cut off the uh, missiles, so he can't use that. Oh, yeah, doing this without the boomerang is a little difficult. But he is like really weak to the rolling shield. But that is his actual, like, weakness. So. But, uh, like, apparently Chandra is solid removal in EDH. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that's five mana kill, like, a Titan, or, like, kill a... I guess. What does New Chandra do against Titans? Probably not a lot. <laughs> New Chandra draws you cards. I, I, I know. I've come around to her. I'd... I really wanted that first one to just be mugging, because that would be me asking for too much. I think it's fine as is. It is. It it protects her, I guess. Okay, one other thing about the stages, in addition to how, like, weapons, boss weakness weapons will do something to the boss, beating certain stages will make changes to other stages. Oh, uh, that's... For instance, because we beat Chill Penguin, Frost, our uh, Flame Mammoth, would have a bunch of lava in his stage, but instead it's all frozen. Ah, because the, the flowing ice caps flowed out from the mountain and got on the lava and made it cold. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't see that logical. Um, well... Well, I was going to ask Kavanaugh if he had, when he was going to figure out when he, if he was actually going or not. I'm going to ask him before the end of the month. Because after that, the price for a ticket goes up. It does. By like five dollars. Oh uh, yeah, Abyss Hunted, I always start with, uh, this guy's a jerk, by the way. I hate this guy. Well, he's the, uh, he's the, uh, he's Dead Crusader. Yeah, I always go for uh, Storm Eagle last. Reminds me of like Golden Axe for the one barbarian dude would scream Blood Eagle. Oh man. <laughs> Blood Eagle. He's great. Because I think that was Golden Axe. <laughs> Not going to know before the end of October. So... Well, then I don't know logical. <laughs> So I think you can guess how these work. And Don't trip the lasers. They're, um, they're ominous beams. The lasers that... do not do any damage, however. I'm going to guess the, uh, the floating 
head things do? The things that look like uh, Zaku's that aren't green? Yeah, yeah, the non-green Zaku's. Yeah, those shoot lasers if you trip the beams. They aren't really that dangerous in here, but they introduce them here because they come up a lot in the Sigma Fortress stages. Ah, like, and then they are, then they become assholes. Oh, uh, them in combination with like six other things. Yeah. So, ah, pile of dudes. Okay, so these robots, I'm gonna let them show off their thing. If they hit you, they will uh, back off and then laugh at you. That is great. They just back I, off and cackle. I love it when enemies insult you. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's pretty great. Also, like I want to say something like the right wall there looks like it's damaged, but it's not. Mm. I'm not, I'm not going to test it because it looks like spikes. It looks, and those tend to kill you instantly, but... Yeah, but, like, speedrunning tech, I think. It's not a true speedrun, because you haven't done any zips or something yet. No, this game, if I remember right, doesn't ha has one skip. Later in the game, you can skip one of the boss refights. Ah. Uh. This I'm going to guess it's more like frame per jumping and stuff. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot of that. This is not a speedrun. God no, this is a terrible. This would this is just me literally playing through the game. Yeah, just like a semi skilled, semi knowledgeable run. Yeah, this is. That's half more what I can do with a video game. <laughs> I don't know about the worst speedrun. Okay, let's... I've I've seen things people have called speedruns that are not really speedruns. Okay, there's there's a trick here. I'm gonna try it for a little while. I'm really bad at it. So you see uh, that heart? I see what you're trying to do. There's a very very small window where you can make that jump, like an exact spot on the wall. I'm going to guess it's like the bottom of the rounded off part. Looks like it's rounded off, but really isn't or something. Yeah. No, you you can definitely do this. This is 100% doable. If you're saying I can't do it, we're going to be here for like 30 minutes, me proving you wrong. It's the Duke skip all over again. Because it's definitely doable. We should try to get logical to do the Duke skip if he streams up. Yeah. Oh, you're saying I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's mash enough. That's how you do pixel perfect stuff, is you mash. I have definitely done this before. I know logical. That's why I was saying it, so you would know. You should. We should try to get you to do the Duke skip when you stream that part of Dark Souls. Look, telling me I cannot do it <laughs> it's just going to make me sit here trying to do this longer. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Because I have done it. I think you can do it. Okay. The, I get the reason the reason I'm I'm trying to do this is so there's the heart container and I want the heart because I I want to I want to get the heart. It's two more pistol health. Uh in the only other way to do this without uh charged ice I guess would do it too. Uh is to use literally the weapon of this stage. The, the, the boomerang? Yeah, you have to guess? use the boomerang and make a second trip, and I, I'd, I'd like to avoid a second trip. Yeah, charged ice works. I don't have charged ice. Well, we do have time, though, and frame-perfect smashing. Yeah. So I'm, really, I'm perfectly willing to talk about basically anything while this is going... <laughs> Like, uh, let's see. Hmm. I am not, I am not a frame perfect jumper, alright? Same. Uh, we, no, we don't have charged ice. We have ice right here. But I don't have the, the charge upgrade is in a different stage. That's in flame mana. Hmm. Skeletons. I do like skeletons. What can I talk about with skeletons? What about mm. skeletons? What about skeletons? Nice skeleton. Skeleton is not any different castle. Ske
skeleton is in this castle. By castle, I mean temple, and by temple, I mean my body. <laughs> Your body is a is a temple yeah. full of skeletons. It's a, it's a skeleton temple. Uh, Skullman is a cool is a cool boss. Uh, his his gimmick is really neat. He, if you walk into his room, he won't do anything until you you start the fight. Ah. Uh, he is like completely reactive to your moveset. Then he screams and shoves a giant sword into the ground and uh, it pops up and stabs you. I don't think he does that. Uh. Uh. uh Great talk. You can turn the new player points into packs if you win new player events. So you can turn a ticket, like a real dollar ticket, into a pack, which saves you like two or three tickets. Also, right. phantom phantom points are like, if you can keep winning phantom events, you can just infinitely use phantom points, but you have to win. Otherwise, you must use real money dollars I'm as well. I'm bored with, with attempting this. I'm just going to make a run back through the stage later. Mm. Oh, well. Whatever. Mm. I've done it in the past, so I know I, that I am able to do it, but whatever. Later tonight, 3 a.m., stream comes on. Utter silence. Except for the sounds of trying to make that frame-specific jump. <laughs> it's... It's a hard jump. <laughs> it is a hard jump. But yeah, like, the, the intended way to get that thing is with this guy's own weapon, so... Oh, well, I probably shouldn't have taken that much damage, but I guess we're fine. Oh, well, you got the tank, or is it not charged? Uh, let me check. Not charged. Woohoo! Uh, rolling shield, you're not the weapon I was looking for. You just have to do it perfectly, it's not that bad. This guy is just basically a uh, cut man. Oh, he he wanted me. He got me. Man, he wanted it. No, I'm I am 100 certain that this is a this is a, a makeable jump. Like that that a human player could make that jump and uh, it, get it that with looks it. Lo it looks doable, it just looks like stupidly hard. Yeah, it's... it's I want to say it's something like a, a one or two frame window that you have to get it. What you need is like a Koopa shell that you could throw at the wall and then kick as it bounces towards you for extra height. Hmm, or a Yoshi? Or oh, Yoshi, you can throw it. Well, that only works if you have a pit, so that he lands in the pit out of spite. Yeah. As we said earlier, semi-skilled, semi-knowledgeable. We'll roll with that. Yeah. <laughs> or we'll use missiles with that, because the armadillo roll was wrong. <laughs> anyway, the boomerang cutter literally just makes a boomerang. Um... Yeah. Next on the list is Sting Chameleon. Oh, the chameleon. Wait, Sting Chameleon or st Stink Chameleon? Sting, as in... I like him less than that. As in Desert Rose Sting? As in... The ah. Police? Am I dropping frames? Oh, maybe a few. It doesn't sound that noticeable. Uh, maybe. That's, that's pretty bad. Um... Mm. We're going to stand around here for a moment. Always uh, lower the resolution, I guess. I mean, it's a pixel game. As long as it stays a multiple of an even number of... Uh, it'll, it'll look all okay. right. Okay. Looks like it's stabilized. Here's the robot trees. That's stuff I do remember. Yeah, so there's the trees are robots. Uh, there's even... In the water here, there's a met with, like, a, a bush for a head. Ah, he's got the, uh, ghillie suit. Yeah. So 
so this is another stage that changed based on uh, stage order. Yeah. Uh, the water in this stage, uh, if we hadn't beat launch on the first would not be easier. Is it advantageous to have the water? Yes. There is a... Well, I won't say you can't get it with without the water. However, it is difficult to get it without the water. Ah. However, there's a there's a boss. He's a mini boss up here. He is protecting something very useful. Mm -hmm. When I first played this game, I did not know that you could damage him by hitting this guy in the eyeball. Ah, it's that. It's the eyeball, it's the weakness spot of boss. Yeah, I, I I thought that the only way to damage him was to jump inside of his uh, claw when he made the claw attack and then shoot him. Um, ah. He does have a weakness? I want to say it's missile... I, I know he... I thought he had one that at least worked on him. Maybe not like a extra damage weakness, but one that was just more effective against him. That sort of thing. Anyway, you just shoot him in the eyeball like 32 freaking times. His torso looks like a, uh, what are those guys' names? He's got a happy face on his torso. Yeah, but uh, what are those Dorcas' names? I don't remember because I don't actually think? like that game too much. I uh, know too love to. Oh, the, the Darns? The Darns, yeah. His, head, his torso is a Darn head. <laughs> Yeah, he darn torso. He darn torso. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just like, okay, go shoot you. Where are your metal joints now? <laughs> Give me 15 silver points. Anyway, he had a capsule. It has part of the armor. And by part of the armor, I mean armor. Ah. Uh. You've obtained capsule. It halves all damage you would take. Oh. Ah, it's the Urza's armor. That's not actually what Urza's armor does, or whatever. That, Urza's armor is minus one. It, it's Gisela. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah. Gisela has the more exciting ability on her that is called Furnace of Wrath. Yeah. But that is a really useful... Also, let me go... There's also a secret down here in this pit that looks like it would just kill you. I remember that in this game too. Pits with prizes, which enraged me. Well, if only it was the dark steel plate, then the game would be easy. It'd be <laughs> like, it'd be like playing a Kirby game. Hey, Kirby games are technical. They are easy to beat and hard to master. I... Well, agree with one of those. <laughs> I think they were moderate to master. Depends well, like, the game. Like, like. I mean, like I'm talking like Nightmare and or like a Return to Dreamland, getting like platinum medals. Yeah, I think that's. I think that would call that moderate. Okay, so I need to play that game more. In this place, if I had not beaten the boss, uh. Rocks would be falling, and that guy up top would just be like stomping around, making like, gets, random rocks fall. He makes the uh, Goron Mountain happen. Yeah, basically. I forget what that. But yeah, even, so this, even with this... the water, that jump kind of sucks. But it is. I want to say it's doable without the water in some is that, fashion. Is that called just Death Mountain? What, what I want to Death Mountain? The, the, the Goron mount Mountain? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's just Death Mountain. Actually, Death Mountain. Also, the woodpeckers make little like grubs come out of the out of the robot trees. The uh, the gillyworm mets were uh, throwing those too. Or wait, different worms, but they were throwing earthworms. Yep. Yeah, I think you need charged ice to get it without water. Again, we're probably not gonna we're not gonna see the charged weapons until like after all eight stages because the. the Charged Buster, you either get in... Actually, yeah, you get it in... Uh, Flame Mammoth stage. And you I need the helmet to get it. Or you get it in the Sigma stages automatically. 
Also, you're thing that gives you ha half damage is the pauldrons, but you only get them when you're not running. Mm. Oh man, punch bot. Punch yeah. fight. We must fight. We can fight now. Sadly, uh, I can't, like, bring punch bot into a boss. That would just be too cool. In Mega Man X4, you, there is a boss you can bring it into. Ooh. Like you can like, it's it's like intended. Like there's a, there's a secondary route for bringing in a punch bot. It makes the boss more interesting. Well, the way it works is uh, the punch bot is a status effect. So if you can find a way to apply the status effect, you get the punch. <laughs> So this guy's weak to the boomerang. And he's he's got the keep doing this. Yeah, he's got the t the tongue that clearly says you cut the tongue. Well, it's not even like that. It's just that the the blades fly in the exact pattern that he is. Like, you see how, like, every time he goes up, the blade just has the, the yeah. exact arc to get him. Yeah, he was, he was owned. Mm -hmm. He's the corn cob. <laughs> he, he was the corn cob. Definitely, definitely. So, yeah, the spikes. He gets spikes, because, uh... Yeah, he yeah, gets he spikes. Gets spikes. Um, I guess Stink Chameleon leads us to Storm Eagle. Oh, I should have pulled up his thing. Whatever. Blood Eagle. Also yeah. a like, um, Kirby superstar enemy. Storm Eagle. Yeah, I forget what that. Is that Blitz Eagle in that game? I don't know. No, no. I I was always a Dreamland Three man. Ah, oh, I was a superstar one. So that was Dino Blade. If you're thinking of it. Ah, Dino Blade. Yeah. Why did I think it was Blitz also, Eagle? <laughs> Jump for free goods. Hmm. <laughs> like you, blind jump. You sure. have to blind jump back to the start to get, to get the health. You won't die. No, like even if you miss the jump, you'll land on the starting platform. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, you don't know that unless you do it for reason. So corrupted devil, I am a mod. Do not say things you cannot take back. <laughs> Don't. I, I, I'm not, I only do that in my own chat. I'm going, I'm thinking about, uh, or the, yeah, the, the guy helped you. The little grabby bot. Yeah, he's he the little grabby bot, like, he's like, hey, uh, you need to make this, uh, make this jump. Uh, I actually need to, I forget where it is, but, that's uh, up there, okay. There is an E tank, a health upgrade, and an armor. Uh, Ooh. In this, in you this have to stage. Mm. The I want to say the armor thing requires me to have a have the fire, but I'm not. I don't actually know. Anyway, there's here's the E tank. I just shatter some glass. Mm. That's rather destructive of you, Mega Man. Like, do you even have, like, a paycheck to pay for that with? Like the pots in Wind Waker, how they would make you pay for breaking that asshole's pots? Does he do that after you rescue his, rescue his daughter? I want to say he does. Who? The guy who's the pots. Like, you rescue his daughter, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, you rescue the rich guy's daughter, and then the... Poor guy, he gets the pots. Yeah. I remember that game. My right, Mega Man works at McDonald's. Yeah, I like these these fire canisters. Lead to goods. Well that was I think it's this one over here, but I 
don't have flame mammoths left on them, so I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can get in here without that. Oh, uh, helmet. Yes, we have that ability. The da canisters. Yes, da. Ah, uh, da. Make with many explosions. Buster seriously breaks them? Oh my god. I'm gonna feel like a super chump when the Buster breaks them. It just takes more shots. How many shots? Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. I'm learning. He's going like I said, back. Semi knowledgeable. Ah, mm. oh, there they go. Basically, this helmet sucks. <laughs> mm. Take the helmet. This capsule contains things. So, the helmet lets you break blocks from ab above. This comes up once. It gives you the uh, hard hat. Yeah, like you can you can jump into blocks like that. The old crazy will destroy the block. Was that the one time it came up? It was right there. No, there. That's that's the, it, them demoing I, his ability. I know. I was being facetious. <laughs> Three places. Look, if it's not the Buster, I don't. Relevant is different than useful. <laughs> like, I realize that you don't take, like, rocks on your head or whatever when you have a helmet on, but who cares? You don't... You, you, yeah. Hmm. You do get a good hat from it. I guess that... Maybe that's the most relevant part? That's definitely the most relevant part. I mean, I can't think of a game that allows me to have hats that I... That isn't the most relevant part. Yeah. Uh, we're stinking, I am. And so we go inside of the ship and we just blow the hell out of it. I think I got a. It's part of the egg fleet. You gotta destroy it. I'm not doing the secret. Is it, there's, there's a secret? Yeah. Uh, it involves. Like how you get to this boss fight. Uh, I'm going to assume it's dumb and annoying. I don't. I just don't care. Oh, I'm, well here, then. I'm here to fight. This guy is Storm Eagle. He can only push us away. Ah. Also, he can shoot like things that dive at us like this. He can also vomit eggs, which hatch into multiple birds. Mm hmm. That's probably symbolic or something, but I don't know what yet. Anyway, his weapon is very cool, though. Is it, is it vomit eggs that no, hatch into multiple birds? It is not vomit eggs that go into multiple birds. That would be a really cool power. That would be a really great power. It vomits eggs that go into birds that go into, uh... You keep holding the button down. If you hold the button down, you charge, and the more you charge, the bigger the egg gets. And you can keep doing it. Forever. He's also some, like... How big is he? I, I didn't do his specs earlier. I, I didn't... I also probably H2, don't care. 275. H2. He's pretty tall. However, the Flame Mammoth is the biggest one at 10.5. I've always met... They look. They don't look that t much taller than Mega Man. I've always envisioned Mega Man to be like five five, five four. <laughs> like, like sort yeah, of hurt. Like, yeah. I'm Mega Man. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm a little fella. Play shortstop. So, as I said earlier, because I did uh, Chill Penguin, this would be lava. Ah. Uh, and. Now it's just ground. Yeah, now it's like frozen and it makes this stage very trivial to get a lot of the stuff in. Hmm. Wait, he's 5'6? I was basically right. <laughs> the scales are way wrong. I demand my game with hats that break bricks and also <laughs> bats that drop extra lives to be. This place also has really good enemies. Uh, I really like the minor guys that just literally throw a pickaxe at you. Yeah, that's quality. They're, they're, they're good. 
If you like those guys, you should play... Actually, you probably shouldn't play Demon Souls. Whereas the pickaxe is like... A thing you rarely ever see in Dark Souls. In Demon Souls, if you don't get it, you're like mega fucked. Because there are enemies that can only be damaged by piercing weapons. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So... Here's where the helmet matters. Ah. And also a stupid jump you have to do to actually do it. Um, if you, again, charged ice, which I'll show off once I get this thing, would make that oh, easier. But, that was like, oh, you did some flail in there. <laughs> but in order to get charged ice, you would need to have it from here, which means useless. There might be another way of doing that that's easier, but... Ba basically, if you make that jump and hit that farthest block to the right and then break it, you can't make the jump anymore. <laughs> yeah, because it, like, uh, it goofs it. Because yeah. you, you can only do it from one side. So, yeah. you get a third level of charge for your buster, which makes uh, it, like, overcharged. Beams! And then every one of your weapons has an overcharge ability as well. Ah, uh, so now you can do charge dice and go get the thing... Can yeah, because you have the boomerang. All right, I'll I'll find a place to show those off. I'll probably use them all, honestly. A lot, of them, a lot of them are useful. I'm going to guess the extra sh charge gives them extra power, even sub weapons. Yeah, like sub weapons have like another ability. Like, ah! When you when you charge them, okay, here let's. See. I'll just show off, uh, let's go with charge, yeah, let's go with the charged uh, chameleon shot, because, like, normal chameleon shot makes, like, a, a like, three-pronged, yeah, like this charged chameleon literally just turns you into the chameleon. Oh, does it make you, uh, I'm, I can't be touched. Is it because you, uh, judge people's actions throughout their entire life and then determine their worth as they die. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, and it like you, de you determine what they reincarnate as. Ah. The, uh, that was a very poorly explained to you. <laughs> the rolling shield, the little bubble that goes on the ground, if I uh, use that I just hit an enemy, so it was useless. It uh, makes a bubble. Ah. That makes bubble. you immune to, like, hits. So, like, these pickaxes here? Yeah, who cares? But if you... Most enemies will just... It, it does let you showcase how... When you got hit by the pickaxe, the dudes would laugh at you. Yep. Let's go... Charge boomerang does a huge boomerang thing. Charge ice makes a little ice penguin on the ground. And you can ride it. Talking about the iOS uh, port. What iOS port of any game hasn't been super lazy? Wait, they just didn't put it in the lava? Yeah, they, they, they didn't, like, beating bosses in order didn't change anything. But they didn't want to program it. Look, that is, like... Capcom in a nutshell these days. I can't think of a maybe Phoenix Wright because all they did was slightly change the interface to be touch base on the touchpad instead of on a DS pad and then also just stuck a DS emulator in in the uh <laughs> on, the, on the tablet so you can play your Phoenix Wright on it. I never like when they take games that have sprites and then, like, make them look drawn, it always looks really bad. Oh, nuts! That's really annoying that you would need the charged ice to get the heart and stink chameleon stage. Because that's really terrible to get without the water there making, like, water physics happen. Oh. 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 So, so here's, here's a boss that's larger than you. Much larger. But is he ten foot large? Pretty large. You make the call. He's about. Hmm. Look at he's like eight feet. Man, he's got like 
three other attacks that he's just not using. I guess that's fine. Actually, it's probably because he's not standing up straight. Look at his awful posture. Yeah. Oh, I... Damn, I forgot the... Whatever, who cares. He didn't even do the attack that his trunk does. Like, his the oil slick thing. Yeah. Sorry. Now, hold on a second. Yep. Yeah, he also never did the, like, the honk change directions. Like, I don't even know what was up with that fight. Anyway, Sigma stages, but Sigma stages get to wake because I have to make a pit stop at Chill Penguin, and then I have to make a pit stop at... Okay, Chill Penguin and... Uh... Boomer Quanger, and then... Yeah, we're getting the Hadouken. Most deaf, like... Hmm. Treat. I have I returned. Okay. Mm. A fuse flipped, and I'm in the room with the fuse box. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's this about doing penguins? So, in the penguin stage, the first time around, I never actually got the health power up because you can't get the health power up the first time you're here. All right, because you uh. Well, if 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 you if you do this stage first, you can't. Yeah, because you don't have any of the uh, jumpings or whatever. Yeah, you could. You need the flame power is the one that you need specifically to get it. But you so you could do flame mammoth first, but then flame mammoth stage isn't uh, frozen over, which means that you wouldn't be able to get the. Jeez, oh, you wouldn't be able to get the heart in that stage without the Quanger's weapon. And, like, everything else changes. Um. Since you beat other stages and you've come back, does the thing that changes in this stage happen, or does it? Not all. Sadly, not all stages have a, a change. This is one ah. that doesn't. However, there is a stage that we did visit that I'm going to revisit that will have a change. Ah, cool. Okay, I want you and then jump and then double jump. Cool. There's a heart. Woohoo! Collect. Three more, and you'll have a new heart container. Okay. So I have three sub tanks. The fourth one is. Oh, the fourth one's in. Uh, let's go there. So, we went into Spark Mandrill stage, and Spark Mandrill stage looks a bit different now than it did before. Look at the Spark. Sparko. Is like everything kind of in shambles and ruins here now. Is it because because <clears throat> you beat the uh, bird? Yep. The, like the bird's ship that's like there. Yeah, yeah. like crashed into it. Really? But, and now it's all dark. So the, the lights kind of flicker in this area. There's no more. Uh, there's no more of the little electric balls in the floor. Oh, right, the, uh, the zappers. But it's almost more... On those. That's almost less annoying than not being able to see. Because <laughs> you can just jump over the zappers. Yeah. Zappers sometimes were annoying with, uh... Where is it? I think it's up ahead. The zappers are, are kind of annoying with ladders. Oh, All right. Am I, like, completely whiffing on where this energy tank is? Because I swear it was, like, in this area. Maybe I'm just crazy. Does anybody with hyper knowledge in the zoo know? Because they seem to know everything else about yeah, everything. I, I swear it was in this area, but I'm maybe I'm just bad at video games. That sometimes comes up. Oh, definitely comes up if I have a fun. Because we'd be on like the third stage, and I'd be. You know, like I swear different. it was like I went this way and then it's down. No. Nope. Down, but like no, not delaying. Uh, whatever. Give me the boomerang. Cool. Zoop. I completely whiffed on seeing it. Anyway, there. I've got all four energy tanks now, so that's good. 
And then there's a heart in Boomer. Boomer Quanger. The Quang. Quang. Is there anything like Krang? Nothing like Krang. If only. That'd be cool. Ah. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect you to remember horrible things. I might have to stream the Ninja Turtles game for the NES. <laughs> We have to have another Kung Fu stream sometime. We do! I... I picked up some more stuff since the last time. Because I'm always boarding these movies. She it might not be Kung Fu though. I got... Let me look at what this movie's actually called. Um... Not the WNUF Halloween special. Ah, the new the new barbarians. The what? The new barbarians. It's like trash Italian movie. Interesting. Let's look at this. I'm going to ignore these jerks. On the Italian. Way. It's an Italian post-apocalyptic action film. By Enzo G. Casolari, starring Fred Williamson. That's why I got it. I love that guy. Oh no, did that hit a word? Um. Wait, more, more, what? English, more and more English words are being deleted from the language due to emoticons, and it's annoying. That should have been UNF. It's like. That, that was, I'm like a, a, a pleb, and I get my bad movie recommendations from famous people. UNF. What the hell? That's a... Is that a Twitch I, face? I don't know. Is it UNF? No, it's hmm. WNUF. Special. I will go into my own zoo because I don't have anything banned there. I'm just type it in. Anyway, so we're what back you... at this heart. This is how you're supposed to get it. Not that way, like this. There. I got the heart. You have a heart. <sighs> what was. <laughs> Baffling. Why was the, the thing doing the thing? I don't know. Nah, we're not. I'm not gonna sit here and jump. That. However, there is a stage I have to do a lot of times. A lot of times. So, in order to get the Hadoken, there are a pile of requirements for it. Um, you need. Let's go ahead and get some lives from this guy. You need all heart containers, you need all weapons, you need all sub-tanks. And then you, you have to get to the end of this level. And, uh... At the end of this level, there's like a jump on a minecart thingy. And, it, and you, like, jump out towards the boss door. And when you get... Okay, wait, uh, When you get to the boss door, there's like a little energy capsule above it. You have to yeah. be at full health and see that energy capsule, I think? Something like that. Huh. Like, five times. I want to say five. It's a lot. It's very it's like, strange. This sounds like a very secret tech. Yeah, basically. It's like, uh... Using Wart's leg. You have to just know. I need full E tanks too. I'm a great amount of So uh, whatever you guys are saying that's getting start out, say it in my zoom real quick. Do I have a UNF? A UNF? I'm not getting a face in my zoom. Hmm. I mean, there's a subscriber around. 
Let's spend a bit of time killing enemies for health if I need all. I didn't think I needed all these these full, but I'm definitely not gonna like not go in with something like that. I have the script. I have to disable it. Mm. Nope, still not going. I'm not going to worry about it because I don't care. Okay. <laughs> These things fill so slowly. Well, you're getting like the, the little pips. Right, those are the. Yeah, whatever. I know what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah, because the, these things don't actually heal the same amount into an energy tank that they do into your health. Like, the, the small and large ones fill like a lot more to your health than they do into the tank. Well, it's like, um. It gets less tasty when it's in the thermos too long. Yeah. The Abyss Hunted, uh... Skulls is free. Yeah, come on. Somebody had an owl emote? I don't know how they... I don't... Maybe... I don't know where that one's from, but uh, it was pretty nifty. I, I thought it was okay. Because mm. it, it, it was pertinent. It was useful. Like, yeah. Luckily, the, uh, the script I have that, like, bans... Uh, like, just does not show most emoticons. It's simplistic enough that you can just, like, decide which one you want or not. Well, that's good. Thank you, user Syncathetic. Allow SM Orc. SM Orc. What does that actually mean? I don't know. Actually, I don't actually know. Hell, this case. Alright. Alright, I heard that. So all sub tanks are full. Woohoo! Let's do the thing in the thing. So one okay. other thing with the game is that it it follows uh, like any good Super Nintendo game. If you scroll an enemy even one pixel off screen, it respawns. Oh yeah. But you can also use that to despawn enemies, right? Yeah. So it cuts both ways. Bats. There's too many of them. Peace. Also, one good thing I've heard about X and Y is they brought back the cave that is just full of Zubats and nothing else. It is called, like, Zubat Cave or something like that. It's like Connection Cave, Zubat. Home. Like Zubat? Yes, Zubat. Nest. Like Nest or something? Caverns? I don't know. That's It's correct, though. But yeah, it, like, I entered it and I was just like, mm -mm, nope, mm -mm. It's been a while since they've taught children that that endurance we went through as, as kids, that you have to learn to hate this kind of cool bat. You learn to hate it, even though it's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Oh, also, the game legs the hell out here. So many sprites on screen. So yep, this little energy ball up here, this is the one. Yeah, just see if I see it. Ah, I see it. Yeah, so I need to see that like five times. So we're jumping in a pit. That'll respawn me halfway through the stage. And I'm going to do this four more times. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get a really sweet power. Oh, I, I'm going to jump on spikes. Ah, uh, what is that cave called? Oh, uh, yeah, it's the one where you need cave? flash. It's the one, it's the one with, uh, with the, uh, fossils and Clefairy, but also tons and tons of, zoo, of Zubats. Do deaths work? I don't know. I'm, I, I'm fairly certain they work, but this is the way I've done it before, so I don't feel, I don't know. Yeah, 
Right. Mount Moon wasn't the only one, though. That was Mount Moon, and then there was, uh... There was the KV needed flash, in. They, they both were chock full of Zubats. And they were both near each other. Well, the other one isn't only Zubat, either. It is mostly Zubat. And that's not even the problem. The problem is that he knows, in both caves, he knows Supersonic. <laughs> That's when the real fun starts. Yeah. And when Geodude doesn't know Supersonic, Geodude knows Tackle. It is a rock type, which means you didn't pick Charmander and are happy. Like, okay, I use Bubble. Yawn. <laughs> or Vine Whip. Still don't understand why Vine Whip only has 10 PP. It's not that good. <laughs> like, have tackle that with crit rate. Cool. Um. Because Pikachu sucks against Geodude and also is kind of bad in general. I'm not talking about Geodude, he's talking about the Zubats. Oh. Because your Pikachu gets confused. <laughs> Abyss hunted. Do not try to convince me that a million Zubats that all know Supersonic are not the shittiest thing. <laughs> <laughs> because it's the shittiest thing. We, we both know accuracy doesn't mean anything, ah. especially. <laughs> so it's here. It's here. <laughs> oh man. So, there's a capsule now, and you'll see that Dr. Light is now wearing a bandana, and... Yeah, he's, uh... He's here to give me a special present. I will give you a special present. It's a box. Now, this power <laughs> is pretty great. So, it, it is literally a Hadouken. Like, you use it, you know, quarter circle forward, fire. You get the Hadouken. It is a one-shot kill on... anybody? On anybody? Yeah, I, I want to say it's on any boss. Well, okay, hitting Sigma 2 with it is almost is hard as hell. But yeah, it's a uh... yeah. It 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 is a one shot kill on most bosses. That's well. That's why it's the secret is because you have to be insane to do this. Yeah. Also, you have to be at full health. Oh, so it's the uh, sword beam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You you have to be at full health to head open. Also, I'm pretty sure poison fang didn't exist in first gen. Pretty sure that's like a fourth gen move. Uh, uh... Blanca, Blanca. Oh, oh, is that the, the eyeballs and the the nose guy? Because if that's the eyeballs and nose guy, you can you can hit like the eyeballs, but not the last part, because the last part you're like jumping on walls. Isn't that the boss of the Shadow Temple? Rongo Bongo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so. That boss is easy, but everyone complains about it. I think that's bongo, there's literally like bongo bongo. Yeah, it's just bongo bongo. You shoot the hand, that's the secret. Yeah, well, he is, a uh, he is in a long line of Nintendo bosses that are literally just hands. Like Andrus. Like... Mario 64 had one. Uh... Like, Nintendo games love it. Master hand, that sort of thing. Just floating hands. And then there's the wall master. And the floor master. Perhaps the most terrifying thing in any video game. This this climb is always terrifying. To me. Yeah, I'm somatic then. Talking about the wall master. Yeah, he, would be, he would improve this level. Just like a giant grabby hand. Just like coming out of nowhere to own you. Oh yeah, like 
when I'm making these like jumps on the flying platforms. Yeah, and then the head comes. It takes you back to the beginning of the stage. If I cared, I'd right hand wall, but I'm not going to. Ah. I also have like two ways to mitigate the damage from these, but meh. Does the um, the smoke that these guys explode into? I think the last frame of it is like a face. Maybe that's just my uh, human instinct getting involved, though. Uh, Kirby Superstar definitely had one. Uh, that was there was the two hands. Like I forget the name of that one, but it was like this, it dropped stones. It was made of rocks. Yeah. Um. Like, I know exactly what boss you're talking about. But, like, Nintendo really loves their boss that is literally just floating hands. Right. Anyway, this this upward climb part I hate without, uh... Actually, it's not this part. It's the upcoming part. It's in the next room. The walking eye! It does... Well, walking eye stuff. Ah, it's Purpleman. He's back. Yep, Purpleman's back. Um, let me quick head down and get the Hadoken back up and running. So was uh, was X the original Shadow? What do you mean? You know, like way cool. Oh, that's like, zero. Uh, that's that's like. That's totally. zero. Yeah, I know X is the guy you're right now. I'm in zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah. Zero, zero's totally that. Like, except for <laughs> he even fits with Shadow because zero. So I'm he sorry. He like slides. We're we're gonna see it in a little bit here, but zero's gonna explode and die. Yeah, I I, I know that much. And he comes back to life, and then he dies again, and then he comes, like he he very much likes coming back to life. Uh, we're shotgun ice. Actually, why why do I care about boss weaknesses? You have the Hadoken. Also, that was a poor choice of me just spending time getting the Hadoken up because I need to. <laughs> you need to take a hit. <laughs> well, no, no, this is a plot boss. Like he, the first part of this is a plot boss. Oh right. Because his his armor thing here is like it like he's like invincible. I'm the purple moon. You cannot defeat me with the Hadoken. Yeah, zero totally explodes while yelling Maria. Zero. Shadow with a mullet. He even like slides on his feet when he runs forward. He's a, he must be wearing soap shoes. <laughs> Look, buddy. You're very predictable. Shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Shoot me with the gun. Do it. He's not going to. He's going to keep punching. There it is. Okay. He has a stun gun thingy, and that's what you need him to do. Because he grabs you, and he's like, I'm going to crush you, and then... Oh, <laughs> he very kindly set me down over in the left. That's nice of him. The blocking of this scene is all wrong. He just had to pick me up and set me down over on the left. Like, hold on. Like, the director would be really mad if you were wrong. Right, right. I have to be on my mark for him to say his line. <laughs> now, let's see if I can get this guy with the, with the Hadoken. I think he's going to start with a, a jump. And I'll probably take a hit because I'm bad at dodging it. Let's see. I do not doubt your strength against the purple man. He is but a lowly purple man. Oh, right. yeah, he, he, he got a hit on me because he did the jump and then dodged the Hadoken. So we're going to hit him with his actual weakness, which is shotgun ice. Ah, the shotgun. Not unlike a Hadoken. I could burn a energy tank. Let's do that. Let's wait until I'm in a, in a position where Hadoken and might happen. Because again, you have to be at full health, and then... Yeah, or else if you don't get the sword beam. I don't know. 
you waste an E-Tank on it. Yep. Oh. Whatever, I'm bad at the opening. It's fine. Semi-skilled. <laughs> like, quarter circles and shit, I'm actually kind of bad at on um, actual D-pads. My problem is I'm playing with an Xbox controller right now, and that thing is really not conducive to fighting game. I uh, the, the circle pad. I'm kind of actually better at... <laughs> I'm, I'm worse at them. I, I... It's maddening, I know. Whatever. I had to... I had to relearn how to use the D-pad, because I used the circle pad for so long. Anyway, if I didn't have the upgraded buster right now, I would steal it from Zero's dead body. Ah, the corpse. I would loot the corpse. It, instead, it just fades away. Look at my robot blood from my mouth. I have blood at school. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do I have blood again? Because <laughs> it's cool. I will swear we would know you're mortally wounded. I need to get past these three jerks and then get to the hallway of farming men. Ah, uh, they make it a dick area by putting sprungies and also the undead crusader, which is just like a horrible enemy in the first place. Yeah, basically. Also, like, disc armor, kind of? Kind of? Got, oh, he's man. got the flail. That's how you know he's a cheater. He's got the flail. Get that out of here, jerk. Uh, I'm not the Inviso Man, because I'm trying to use the shield to farm health off these dudes. But that's probably not gonna happen. You got life out of it. I did get a life out of it. Oh well. Who are we fighting anyway? Um, is it somebody I need to show something off for is the real question. Boomer mm. Quanger. Um. Oh my God. Whatever. Two E tanks. Um. Quang. What does Quang even mean? I don't know. Who are you, mystery man? Anyway, uh, he's dead. Ah, the Hadouken. <clears throat> it seriously just straight does their entire health bar. <laughs> if it connects. I'm glad I got to show that off at least once. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased by that. It is a little bit incorrect, though, because it should be the Yoga Fire. That is truly unbeatable. There's nothing I can defeat the Yoga Flame. Portmanteau of the Japanese word for stag beetle and the It's not want to localize half of it. Like, why not call it staggering? Or the staggering, and he makes you stagger with his big oh right. It's less, it's not as stupid as what his name actually is. Yeah, I know, he's Quanger. Look, I accept <laughs> Quanger because I've, I've fought Qua Boomer Quanger enough <laughs> that I just accept it. The Quang! Alright, let's get it. Uh, each of these areas in Sigma's Fortress also has a unique boss at the end. Uh, this one here is a spider boss that gets likes to get used in other games. Like, it's definitely something that has happened in other games before. Maybe. Mm, I'm gonna try to head open him. Right, this guy. He does the, uh... You can tell which way he's going to go based off of the things. Yep. He spreads a deadly web. Oh. I, I don't know. He definitely spins it, though. I'm very 
bad at getting the Hadoken off on command, so we're... I'm getting it off delayed. Hmm. I believe in you. You are like the best at the jump attack input you can do. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Do I, how much shotgun ice do I have? This is actual weakness again. Ah, spider is weak to cold. Anyway, you get to. You just have to tell where he's going and shoot his eye <laughs> when it opens. Is it more cost efficient to use charge attacks? Charged ice actually doesn't do like anything. Like it, it you just ride around on it. Oh, it makes like a path. Oh, oh. That's fair. Hadoken would probably work more if I just sat up in his face. That what? also makes it easier to get hits on you, which. Negates the Hadoken. Yeah. <laughs> Just completely ignore this boss's, like, damage. Which, honestly, I am anyway. Uh, dude, just gotta keep telling where he's going. Because he telegraphs his every move. I am the spider. I will go towards the ground in a set pattern. I will give you, like, two seconds to hit me. Here you go. Have you learned the pattern? Let's... That's Mega Man boss. Is you learned the pattern. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's dead. Spider is dead. Oh. Cool. 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 Yeah, that's cool. I guess that's neat. Here, have a password. Because this is a game that uses passwords. Ah, the password. Even though the SNES was perfectly capable of <laughs> saving. <laughs> Use the password. Like this, like Mega Man and like Prince of Persia did it just so that you would play their game more. Especially. Especially Prince of Persia, because I had fucked that game. Like, old, old, old Prince of Persia? Yeah, the one where you beat it in 20 minutes or you don't beat it. Yeah, it's like an I think an hour is the actual limit. Yeah, fuck that game. It's kind of fun, but then you realize you don't get it, beat it, you just get to play it again. After these health orbs, give me the orbs. Give me the orbs. I want, your, soul. I want your health. Need to pack it up for the thermos. Yeah, basically. Yeah, there is an exploit where you could like use passwords to continually replay to get better times, but that was still soul crushing. That was actually more soul crushing. Because then you were putting in passwords repeatedly to get better level times. That makes you appreciate modern game design for as flawed as it is. Right, oh. Whatever. Anyway, there's a boss through here. I have full health. Kill Penguin... I already Buster dueled you, so... You're gonna eat the Hadoken when I get a moment. There we go. I'm the Penguin. I slide towards you and then you murder me. Yep. Not even gonna show off, like... Yeah, he's weak to Flamethrower, cool. Cool. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, you don't, uh, you don't get, uh, like, eight, like, teleporters that bring you to the re fight bosses. You just, like, they're spread throughout these four levels. Yeah, it's just, like, the boss rush with dudes. Yep. Also, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I love the robots. I I do love robots. 
There is a compelling reason to play Mega Man, is love of robot. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take all the hits. Ooh, enemies drop health. Specifically, I want this one up here to drop health. Yeah, that dude. Mega Man 1 had a lot of weird design choices. But it was like the first game, so that's, like, that's cool. Yeah. Like points. Points are point, points are a good game mechanic, right? I I kind of like points. They don't serve any purpose, but I like them. I guess I like having points. So that's, that's, that's cool. Points relates to numbers popping out of enemies when you kill them, which is among the greatest of things. There we go. I, that that's probably why I like Dark Souls is when you kill enemies. Numbers pop out that tell you what damage you do, and then numbers pop out that tell you how many experience they're worth. Mm-hmm. Like, you great. I love that. Oh, I fired the Hadouken, but he was off. He's too far off screen because he keeps blowing me away. You don't have to defeat the air, man. That's fine. I'm just gonna actually, like, fight him with this. Warframe's all about numbers. Warframe is definitely about the wrong kind of numbers. It's about, uh, shit, what was that stuff called? The ruby. Rubinium, rubitite, unobtainium. Unobtainium! <laughs> the shit you ground for hours to make your stupid gun. Oh, freaking space monies. Yeah, the different space currency that you picked up from breaking crates. Rubido. Fuck Rubido. I think you farmed that so much. I did, because I, I made like... I like got free steam dollars that I turned into extra warframes. And then I had to go make the extra warframes, which meant Rubido. <laughs> and Gallium. And Morphix. <laughs> and other assorted space minerals. If it was like Monster Hunter, then you could like break bits off of enemies and then use it. And at least you, you get that sort of uh, payback from it. But not really. It yeah, control module. Yeah, you, you control module. I oh, know. Yeah, it didn't give, like in Monster Hunter, that doesn't give you it, but it like raises the drop rate, if I remember right. It's been a long time since I played Monster Hunter. So here's the Ronga Bongo. This boss. Ronga Bongo. Makes me think of Tailspin for some reason. You basically can't Hadoken him because of. Ah, the eyeballs. Wanted to, guess, wanted to guess the eyeballs are his weakness? Everything that comes out of him is, weak, is his weak point. His nose. He looks more like a mandrel than... Bongo. Okay. He looks more like a uh, mandrel than Sparky does. He really does. The only thing he's missing is, like, the bright red ass. Which I don't think they would put in the Mega Man game, <laughs> but he's probably correct. Or would they put that in... <laughs> Legend of Zelda. 
the, the two redeemable things. Actually, the three redeemable things about Twilight Princess were the uh, the Yeti level. Yeti level is good. I like the top. Um, the top, yeah. Uh, the yeah. mandrel's bright red ass that he would smack. And uh, I actually really liked the creepy girl who loves bugs. I liked that character. I'm sure it was like a trade quest that involves she finding... She likes bugs, okay. I love, I love the bugs. Yeah, uh, Abyss Hunter is right. You fight that boss again in X5, and he's much different. He has like some other cool attacks, and by cool, I mean instant death. Oh. So that's cool. Suppose, oh. If you like instant death. Well, yeah, if you're you playing... If you're playing Mega Man, you probably should like instant death. Oh, okay. Here's the armadillo. I'm gonna try to Hadouken him. He's probably not too bad to Hadouken. Actually, he might be a little bad to Hadouken. <sighs> Twilight Princess dungeon design, I would say, is slightly worse than Majora's Mask, which was already kind of mediocre dungeon design-wise. That's going to enrage some people, but... Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game, but even I will admit, dungeon design is kind of mediocre. Uh, oh, I didn't demonstrate it also, but I think this is the boss that has a skip for him. Oh. Twilight Princess is a lot of, like, things going on in it that I don't like. Like, there was the whole air temple. Like, I liked the, the part where you get the, the dual claw shot, and then it's, like, amazing. But then you realize, oh, I have to finish this fucking temple. Yeah, you're just like, oh, I'm still in this goddamn dungeon. That's cool. I'm gonna babysit these monkeys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I like the Majora Mask Water Temple. Call me a madman, because I am. Alright. You had lots of Zora swimming, which I love. Also, water temples are not that bad, people. You can finish the Ocarina of Time one with a key left over. You can finish the Ocarina of Time one in about 30 seconds. I mean, without stupid <laughs> mad magic. Like you can, you can, you can cheese the hell out of that one. You can rewrite game code using bottles. Well, I, I, I mean, like doing dumb bomb. <laughs> yeah, I know you can rewrite <laughs> game code using bottles. I love that. The, I love the, 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 the bottle adventure and reverse bottle adventure. Yeah, where you just like modifying in-game memory address. Yep. Uh -huh. You can give yourself like 25 bomb shoes or like write medallions into your inventory. And then write them out and then put them in with a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the 20 minute speed run of that game is pretty hilarious. I know. It, oh, Cosmo is great. Although I don't like he does like Castlevania 64 a lot, which I just can't care about even a little bit. <laughs> that game's really bad. It is. It's like, every person who will play and enjoy bad games, but not that one. Like, I have a copy of Two Worlds around here somewhere, and I will sing the praises of that game every day, but... I am leaving. <laughs> Off to the second world. <laughs> <sighs> that game is so good. It's awful. <laughs> Oh, he got me right in the middle of the Hadouken. Whatever, jerk. You're gonna get frozen. Oh, he has, like, Christmas lights on his body. Yeah. Let him, I'm gonna let him show off some attacks, because I didn't let him do anything last fight. Like, at all. He has some charge attacks, he's got lights, he makes beams at the walls. I guess it's about it. Full of beans. Anyway, he's getting frozen. He's, he's getting frosty.
Like he free he unfreezes, lifts his arms up, and then freezes. Because <laughs> uh, he has his invincibility during that time. Um, I'll be able to show off a uh, launch octopus with the uh, cutting off his stuff. Also, there's a lot of pictures. They're still useless. Hmm. I think Bottle Adventure works on emulators, but I'm not sure it works on the GameCube version or the Virtual Console. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it works on, on emulators. Well, it's because um, the games actually have different version numbers. There's one, yeah, there's 1.0, one, oh, one, one, and 1.2. One, and they, they fix certain things. It's also why it's sad that some people don't get, like, FF6, like... Sketch Glitch only works on like 1.1 of that game, which is actually not that common. I'm starting to get the feeling that these stupid fish can't drop good. Well, they drop as you when you uh, come out of them. <laughs> mm. It's also true, Master Quest. Yeah, Master Quest stuff in like the GameCube remake and that stuff. It has some fixed things, but... Not others. Not others. It's also, it's also why Majora's Mask has a lot of things that don't work in it. Anyway, so I cut this guy's, uh... It takes a couple hits with the, with the, uh... With the cutter, with the... but you, you cut off his tentacle kind of thing. There we go. Cut. Yeah, cut blade. Not even going to call it the, uh... What's that guy's name again? Krangerang? Anyway, yeah. he, he spams the hell out of missiles now. This is basically all he does for the rest of the fight. I don't know if that makes him more annoying or not. Well, his missiles have like a hole where they can't hit you. They also like block the uh... Yeah, they, they block this, the one thing that he's weak to. I wouldn't know that if it sounded. Yeah, I, I don't think like, I don't think the bottle glitch was actually figured out until years after the game came out. Yeah, like bottle adventure and reverse bottle adventure. I don't know if those are version specific. Those are the ones I'm specifically referring to. They very well could be, but like I am no expert on Ocarina of Time or anything. Me neither. I've just Not claimed to be one. Watched some speed runs, played it quite a bit. I like the game. It's a good game. It's aged okay, which is more than you can say about most N64 games. Fair. Let's see if I can fill up on health for this boss. Like, uh. I think. Goldeneye is not aged that well, but I still love that game. <laughs> Goldeneye is not. Like, because there's different types of bottle glitches. Like, there's yeah. one where you can overwrite items with bottles, and that one's in, like, every Zelda game. Like, Majora's Mask still has that. Yeah. Yeah, they, they took the giant thing out of the fire temple. Still don't know why they did that. Ah, uh, because, uh, I don't know, Nintendo of America didn't want people to remember the Gulf War, <laughs> I guess. Wow. Well. Even though those are different cultures. <laughs> Let's, uh, which boss is this? Let's see. Get like the get a floor of like conveyor belt. Oh, and it's, it's, it's okay, the mammoth. good. He's he's uh, he didn't take the head out, and I want to hit him with the want to hit him with the boomerang again because his his, his trunk goes up. And he looks oh. really dumb without it. Well, wouldn't you look really dumb without your nose? Fair. Well, he does look like a bat, though. Or like a pig. Pig bat. I'm gonna hit him with this damn Hadouken. 
He does, like, give you loads of time for to do it. No, oh, never mind. I'm gonna whiff on this Sudoku. Luckily, I've got a energy tank. Take that. <laughs> 